Welcome to the unboxing of the Intel Core i7 processor and uh, this is the 3930K model. Uh, so this is a 6 core processor. We can see that it supports 12 way multitasking. It has uh, Intel Boost technology, supports hyperthreading and has support for quad channel DDR3 memory. Uh, here we can just see uh, the back we can see the processor inside 12 megabytes of cache it's an LGA 2011 socket and it's rated at 130 watts so let's go ahead and uh, open up and see what's inside so here's the box and we can just put that to one side and what do we have we've got a installation instruction manual okay and we've got the uh, intel iCore 7 sticker inside as well so the intel inside sticker and here we have the processor itself just open up the tabs and here we have it so here is the chip itself, it's 3.2 gigahertz and we can see on the back the uh, connections to the motherboard. We have the Intel Core i7 processor, uh, 6 core and I've often seen that people uh, describe it as being a very large processor especially in comparison to something like the 2600. Uh, as a comparison I have here an P166 megahertz processor um, running at 133 megahertz, designed for Microsoft Windows 95. And we can see that in size they're pretty close. The uh, 6 core processor is slightly longer by uh, about 5 millimeters or so. But in terms of width, uh, the older Intel chip is certainly a good deal uh, wider so the overall surface area is generally very similar of course another big difference between them is that the older chip uh, has not a huge number of pins uh, in comparison to the number of connections on the 6 core processor let's just uh, in a minute closer so we can see that we have quite a few pins on the old pentium 166 processor but we have far far more connections here on our six core i7 processor but generally the overall surface area has stayed the same even though they're well over uh, 15 years apart or more even so technology changes but yet generally the dimensions remain relatively the same 